unit one review um, 28 part a complete the table and graph using the given equation y equals absolute value x minus 3 okay please remember on this one absolute values make your answer positive so don't forget that so if I plug 0 in 0 minus 3 is negative 3 but the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3 if I plug in 1 1 minus 3 is negative 2 the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 um, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. To plug 3 in, 3 minus 3 is 0. Absolute value of 0 is just 0. Ooh. 0, 0, there we go. Um, 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. The absolute value of 1 is 1. Um, 5, 5 minus 3 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. And 6, 6 minus 3 is 3. The absolute value of 3 is 3. So we are ready to graph it now. And let's see here. It says 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I'm going to start my graph way over. Not quite in the middle this time. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so 0, 3, stay put and go up 3. 1, 2, go to the right 1 and up 2. This is backwards of slope, so just be careful. Um, 2, 1, go to the right 2 and up 1. Um, 3, 0, go to the right 3 and stay put. 4, 1, go to the right 4 and up 1. 5, 2, go to the right 5 and up 2. 6, go to the right 6 and up 3. And I noticed that it made a V, so I'm going to go ahead and connect it. There we go. Right, and then B, it says to use your table and or graph to explain why the equation represents a function. If I use the table, I would say that every input, whoop, input, has exactly one output and it definitely is okay that a couple of them like one two and five two because of the dollar menu that's fine okay and then if I were to use my graph I could say that um, it passes the vertical line test alrighty Problem number 29, well actually 29 through 30, decide if the following represent functions or not, explain why or why not to receive full credit. Okay, so if I'm looking at these, I've got 1, 7, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 7. None of these inputs are the same where they would have two, same input has two different outputs. It is okay for one to be $7 and four to be $7 because again of the dollar menu example. So I'm going to say, yes, this is a function and I'm going to say every input as one output. Right, if I'm looking at 30, let's do that vertical line test. And every vertical line only passes through one time. So just like on the previous problem, we get another yes. And I'm going to say it passes the vertical line test. And please remember, if you are going to use VLT as an abbreviation, somewhere on your paper, you've already said what that means. All right, 31. A teacher made to, makes a table that lists the last name X and the first name Y of each student in the class. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, X is the last name. So um, let's go with, um, we'll do Weersma first. And then um, Weersma and then Y is the first name. So I'll do Jewel. And then let's see, we have another Weersma in the class but the other student is Justin. And notice I've already made it not a function because I have one input has two different outputs. So this is definitely going to be no because there can be people with the same last name but different first names. All right, problem 32. Yogarama charges $2.50 for a medium cup of yogurt plus 50 cents for each topping. They offer five different toppings. The total cost of the yogurt Y is a function of the number of toppings N. First of all, identify the independent and dependent variables. So the independent, remember, is you get to choose. Do you get to choose the total cost or you do, do you get to choose the number of toppings? And I'm going to definitely say you get to choose how many toppings you would like to put on your yogurt. And then the dependent um, 
the cost, the total cost, will depend on how many toppings you pick. Right? Then it says to make a table of values. And instead of using X and Y, we'll use N and Y. Okay, they offer five different toppings. Well, I don't have to get any toppings if I don't want to. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. If I don't pick any toppings, it's going to be $2.50. If I do one, since each one is 50 cents, it will be $3. Add 50 cents more to get 350. Add 50 cents more to get $4. Add 50 cents more to get 450. And 50 cents more to get $5. So that was my table. And then identifying the domain and range, the domain is just the input, so that's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can also do 0 through 5 if you'd like. And then the range are my outputs. So 250, $3, 350, $4, 450, $5. Or if you'd like to just put 250 through $5, that would be fine as well. Alrighty, 33, identify the domain and range. Well, remember the domain is the inputs and the range is the outputs. And that has to do with our X's and our Y's. So I'm actually going to make a table for this just to help. Um, this first point A, it goes to the left 6 and up 5. So negative 6, 5 is that first point. Um, B is to the right 1 and up 3. So I'm going to put 1, 3. Um, point C is to the right 6 and stay put, so that will be 6, 0. And then D is to the left 1 and down 5, so it will be negative 1, 5. So once I have my table, now it's pretty easy to, rec to recognize my domain and my range. So my domain is going to be negative 6, 1, 6, and negative 1. It's just a list, and we can't put a range this time because there's not things in between. And then my range, boy, can you hear my dog? I think he's snoring. <laughs> um, and then um, my range is just 5, 3, 0. And I'm not going to list 5 again because we already listed it. Oh, that was negative 5. So yes, we are going to list it. Okay, so our domain and our range. And we are set on that one. Okay, last problem. Let f of x equal 2x minus 4. First of all, find f of negative 4. So we're just going to put that in for the x. So we're going to put 2 times negative 4 minus 4. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Minus 4 is negative 12. Okay, now we'll put 0 in for the x. So 2 times 0 minus 4. It's just like the problem where we had to fill in the table. 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 4 is negative 4. And then the last one, we're going to put 5 in for that x. So we'll do 2 times 5 minus 4. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 4 is 6. And there we have it.